I do see my work as part of a social movement. It brings up through furniture questions that I think we still need to address. I learnt my trades in Newcastle, Northumbria University, studying 3D design. And I've got a residency scheme here with the university. So for another year, hopefully, I'm going to be sticking around and using the workshops and one of the studios again. I first got into craft during my art foundation. I got speaking to my tutor and I was trying to work out what to specialise in. And she directed me in this path of looking at craft and how if I learnt these skills then I could transfer that into so many different things. At New Designers 2018 I exhibited my project at Clower, which was a big ultramarine lounge chair that I made as my final project. And then I was fortunate enough to win the Belmond Award. And as part of that, I get to work on a collaborative project with the Belmont design team for their Cadogan Hotel in Chelsea. When I first start designing a piece, I kind of focus on that whole research phase of it, and I think that's really important. Then from there, start drawing out the shapes, and then go straight into real material and modeling. And then from that, start to make the final thing. Originally, I'd always been massively inspired by Japanese design and Scandinavian design. But then it kind of dawned on me that I've got my own heritage, Caribbean, Jamaican, and then also tracing my roots back to Africa. So it became an exploration of my identity and tracing my roots, and then allowing that to influence the essay and the context of the furniture that I make. Earlier on in the year, I wrote my dissertation on the roles and responsibilities of black artists during the civil rights movement and compared them to artists today. And then it started to make me think that maybe I had my own responsibilities to discuss my own heritage. Through my research, I came across artists such as Lena Iris Victor and was really drawn in by the way that she empowers the people that are the subject of her paintings and then also comparing that to Namza Luba, who's a photographer and art director. When I see her work and she's got these really strong African figures, I felt inspired to also create something that's empowering. The reason why I use blue on the chair is sort of synonymous with space and celestial blue. It's also synonymous with royalty. I wanted to claim that back and suggest that the person within this chair is dominant and a royal figure. Afrocentrism, I suppose, is anything that is created in arts and anything written that celebrates African heritage. And I feel that my work is trying to celebrate African history and narrative through furniture design. My name is Matt Collins. I'm a furniture designer based in Newcastle.